Every day here at Makerspace CT is pretty exciting. You never know who's going to come up and talk to you about what project. And every one of them is so exciting. You think you want to be a part of everything. When people wonder about how did we develop Makerspace CT? How did it come into being? It's a pretty interesting story. I learned about a Makerspace through reading Make Magazine in 2014 and became enamored with the whole movement. I was enthralled to think that we had a vehicle through which we could learn and teach people how to create, how to make, how to innovate, ideate, and it became my dream to open up a Makerspace. After visiting 25 Makerspaces throughout the United States, we developed a hybrid model. One that was filled with enthusiasm and excitement, and also one that was orderly and had a lot of opportunities for different types of tools and learning. Makerspace CT has a very unique mission. And our mission here is to positively impact lives by enabling access, education, and innovation. And we use making as a vehicle to lift up both individuals and communities. We are a community resource. People can come to our space and join our space as if they were joining a gym. And the Makerspace is on the leading edge of putting all of that information together and presenting it to our population around. So my name is Mark and I am in charge of operations here at Makerspace CT. We're gonna give you a quick tour of our facility and show you our shops where you have an opportunity to come here as a member, join, and dip your feet into all these different disciplines and choose to improve your skill level, take a class in a new innovative type of shop that you haven't seen before, and get the experience of Makerspace CT. So come with me, I'm gonna take you over to our wood shop. Our wood shop is approximately 3,400 square feet. We have a mix of old school woodworking tools to carving stations, right up to very high end techno CNC routers. It's quite a facility. It lets people get involved in woodworking and test their skills at different technologies in woodworking. The machinery we have here is no different than the machinery you would find at a woodworking facility. Whether you're looking to get into furniture making, cabinet making, even exhibit design or set design. What's great about Makerspace CT is we offer the machinery you're gonna see and experience and have hands-on in the real world. In addition, we have some very high-end machines like this Techno CNC router. This is a four by eight foot CNC router with eight different tool changing stations where people can take their programs from 2D to 3D CAD, put them in the machine, and run your part here to cut profiles and even, we call it two and a half dimension, where it's not a full dimensional shape, but at least it gets you an X, a Y, and some Z heights on our router. This is the type of machine you're gonna see in the real world if you're in the field of exhibit design, cabinet making. This is the type of production machine that we want people to have experience on and get their feet wet to see if it's a technology that they can use to improve their skill sets in the real world of woodworking. Also, we have panel saws, sliding table saws, saw stop table saws. We have lathes for woodworking over there. In addition, in the back, we have planers and joiners and sanders, disc sanders. We have something we call the chop farm. The chop farm is a series of three chop saws that are lined up utilizing a common fence. It's a great setup for large pieces and you can cut up to a 36 foot long piece of millwork here at Makerspace CT. We give our members the opportunity to utilize all the tools that are out there um, from hand tools to power to tools to cordless power tools. We have all the drills and bits necessary right in this cabinet. In addition we have commercial level uh, drill presses um, and production machines. So it gives everyone a chance to really take their prototype to the next level and using the tools that you would normally use in a real world wood shop. All this for membership. It's a great opportunity here. Next, we're gonna go on over to the machine shop. Let me take you over there. What's great about the Makerspace CT machine shop is we have metal turning lathes. 
we have both high-end and precision, and even some old school machines that you might see out in an older tool and die company. In addition, we have Bridgeport mills. We have a twin set of var variable speed, both with DROs. Older mills still have their place in subtractive manufacturing for teaching and showing people what subtractive manufacturing and mach milling machines are used for and how milling machines built America. But in addition, we add some digital readouts as well so we can get the precision we need if someone's cutting apart. Having a Haas CNC mill in a makerspace is a real special opportunity. There's not many places that where you can bring a part that you're working on for your own personal use where you can go and just walk in and use their mill. No. Here at Makerspace, your membership fee and a little bit of training allows you to use our large TM1P Haas mill. Teaching CAD design over in our computer lab allows people to invent and design that prototype and bring it over here into our machine center and machine that part either out of billet aluminum, steel, or even Delrin or plastics. Again, this is a great opportunity here at Make Your Space ET to build and design and get your invention to market. We have a wonderful metal shop. Behind me is an example of some sculpture that's from SolidWorks, as a matter of fact. There's sculptures from a Mexican artist that also shows how laser cutters and plasma cutters can be used to stitch cut, bend, break, and adjust steel and build it into some art. Yes, we concentrate on skills development and workforce development, but sometimes playing with metal, welding, cutting can be fun. Let's go in the welding shop and I'll show you. Just like any work space, our eyes are always on safety. We have an array of welding jackets, safety gear, gloves, welding helmets, all available for our members to use. If you pan around here to your right, you'll see an amazing array of TIG welders, MIG welders, stick, as well as spool guns. And we even have a brazing center on the other side. This is where people take classes on weekday nights and sometimes even on the weekend and learn how to MIG and TIG right here at Makerspace CT. Our entire facility is vented very well the fumes are controlled and it's air conditioned. There's not a lot of shops where you can go and weld and learn, have a great time, keep smiling and still be cool. A new addition here at Makerspace CT is our new Shop Pro by Koiki. A Shop Pro is a four x four hypertherm controlled 85 amp plasma cutter. Again, it's a great example of how you take a CAD design, a two dimensional vector drawing and apply it to a plasma cutter and cut steel. We also have some old school blacksmithing going on here. On Wednesday evenings, you can take a class in blacksmithing. We have a resident blacksmither from the area who takes you on a journey from the old school art of blacksmithing to our forge, how to twist steel, hammer it, draw. It's wonderful. And it's a great opportunity for our members to touch on a little bit of the old school while experiencing a high-tech space. We also have some collaborations with our metal suppliers. Our members can't always just go out and buy steel and move it in here. So behind me is an entire supply of tubing, rod stock, and sheet metal where people can use this to either test, learn, or create their next prototype. Before you start welding though, you need to process that metal into smaller manageable parts. Here we have a shear, behind me we have a power brake. In addition, we have a finger brake. Also, we have a bending die system. We also have grinders, buffers, English wheels, drill presses. These are the places where you process metal down to a smaller, more usable material that you can weld and turn into your artwork or your prototype. In this plastics lab, we have an additional mill where we can mill Delrin and vinyls and nylons, but also this is where we teach classes in vacuum forming. You've seen these things before for packaging, but on the machine over here to your right, this is where we teach what vacuum forming is, what packaging is, and what steps you have to take to learn this skill and get out there in the real world designing packaging. We also have a great textiles room. This is where people create patterns, make clothing, costumes, make alterations, 
Soon we're going to open up an upholstery center and you'll be able to use these commercial machines and take your designs in fabric to the next level. Here we have a walking foot machine. It's great for sewing rubber, Tyvex, cork. In addition, we have a serger machine which does blind stitching if you're making outfits um, or other clothing. So it's just another example of what a great mix of technology and machinery we have here at Makerspace. An additional opportunity here is our electronics area. This is where people can solder circuits, work on PC boards. We have an array of oscilloscopes and soldering stations. We have board preheaters. It's a great place where people can solder and work on their prototypes, add those LED lights, Arduino boards, and Raspberry Pis to activate and make an idea come to life. As the shop manager, it's really gratifying to see people take advantage of the opportunity to meet different people, work together on projects, both entrepreneurial efforts and then even just things for fun. Here at Makerspace CT, we're starting out an exciting program called Digital Badging. This program involves digital credentials that you can post online and share to your LinkedIn profile. Each badge goes over a specific area of additive manufacturing. The accumulation of all six of these badges will get you the master badge at the end. And uh, this digital credential, you should be able to go to, into an employer and pull that up on the computer and show that you've actually learned all these separate skills to start a career in the exciting new world of additive manufacturing. In the next few weeks, we'll be launching a program called Youth CAD Readiness. We're gonna bring in students from all around the Hartford area to teach them CAD design, design workflows, things like that, and then eventually uh, how to take those designs and turn them into 3D printed objects for their own personal projects but the skills they learn, they can take to internships and then eventually get jobs in fabrication. Thanks so much for allowing us to be part of your day and give you a tour of Makerspace CT. And you just never know what you're gonna see here at Makerspace CT. We offer you a tour anytime you're in downtown Hartford. Today, we seem to be sporting a disco ball over here. It's a very exciting place. Thank you so much for letting us be a part of it.